Hey there folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and uh, this is Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Or is it Circle of the Moon? I don't even know! The game's inside the GameCube converter, I can't even see it. I have no idea. I believe that is what this is called. Anyhow, last time, um, we found out who we are. We're Nathan the Vampire Killer. It's good old reliable Nathan, 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 Detroit! Yeah, so I'm Nathan Detroit, the vampire killer who wants to set up a card game in Dracula's castle. Um, eh, I'll head over here, see what's going on this way. And I got dash boots, and I leveled up once, so now I'm level two. Oh, and of course. I make a big deal about, like, oh, no, I'll check this area out later. And then the first thing that happens is I come across a wall I can't jump over. <sighs> oh, wouldn't you just know it. Oh, before I get too far over in the other direction... Oh, no, I got poisoned. No, screw that. I'm not dealing with no poison. Heal me. No, I don't need to save. I just got here. Mercury card. Alright. Mercury card. The messenger of the gods. Has the potential of strength. Along with a lizard bathed in flames. Embodiment of the fire spirit salamander. Has the power of fire. Okay. So I have those cards. What do they do? That's pretty much what I've got going on now. Howie! Howie! Considering how reputedly badass I was in the last episode, I'm not making that good a showing this time around. I blame the fact that the poison worms are too short to hit. Also that the, uh bone skeletons uh, up there are apparently they don't change directions like they do in most of the other Castlevania games. Which I mean, I guess I'm willing to accept. Wait a minute, was there a door over here the whole time I never bothered to check out? Well, this seems pleasant in here. Uh, I guess I need some kind of cool boots to be able to uh, knock my way through that door. Alright. I accept your challenge. Can I get up here now? Nope. I really do have to defeat that earth demon, huh? Ouch. Gotta defeat the earth demon. I have no earthly idea how. I am not that good at the moment. It'll turn out that he only has, like, he only takes, like, three hits, and I just happen to have been within, like, one shot of killing him. Level up! And I leveled up again, so... Wandering around this same hallway over and over again clearly has its advantages. I don't care, Bonehead. I'm about to go in here and fill up my life again, or didn't you get the memo? Save? No, I'm not gonna save. There is work to be done! Action! I am a man of action. Check me out. I'm different. Okay. Wait a minute, did that... No, okay, that did hurt me. It just didn't hurt me. Jeez. All of my getting poisoned. I really need to stop that. Stop... STOP POISONING ME! This is lame. I keep getting poisoned. Ouch. Maybe it's because I'm running around this map carelessly. There has to be some other explanation, though. No, don't save. The progress I've made thus far is embarrassing. Why would you want to save it? Oof. Oh, fine. A 
Oh good, I got an antidote. There we go, that's more like it. And forget that skeleton bomber, and as a matter of fact, forget all you skeleton bombers. We are going to run right past you. Clearly there's some way to get around in here that I don't know about. Yeah, Earth Demon, give me something valuable. What? You were an Earth Demon and you gave me nothing. I thought you were, like, a boss, or at least a pseudo-boss. Although I guess now I have run boots, I can make this leap. Yes, I can. Yep. Well, that's good to know, though. If you duck down, you will manage to... Well, those guys were taken off somewhere. They were like bats out of hell. And then like a bat out of hell, you know they're gonna be gone, gone. Alright, let's... There we go. Whee! Nice jumping. Hey, we got a door. Door is gonna take me to another block I can't get through? Well, okay. These are all valuable things to know, right? That's nice. The door doesn't sh slam in my body. Nope. Darn bats. Ah, skeleranks. Hey! Zombies! Zombies. You friggin' zombies need to not bite me. Bad things happen when I get bitten by zombies. What? And then they immediately go to bite me. Darn it, I want these clothes. Yay, I got cotton clothes. I didn't even get poisoned. There we go. Now we're making progress in the world. Let's get equipped. Get equipped with clothes. Stop running around here naked, you friggin' vampire hunter. Vampire Hunter Nudie. Nudie, see? Huh? Alright, got rid of those skeletons, time to get rid of some zombies. Well, another level up. That's always nice. There we go. I can kill zombies by the score. Well, you pretty much could always do that. If you can't kill zombies and it's a Castlevania game, you are doing something wrong. You are not pressing the correct buttons to do things like attack or jump, or move, or whatever it is that you need to do in this particular instance to attack zombies. Out of my way, guys. I want to pick up these torches. I wonder, can I dive through you guys? Out of curiosity. Yeah, okay. I can dive through you guys. Alright, what do we have here? What new fresh hell is this? Oof. Well, fine. 
I don't want to go up your tower anyway. I want to go over here. Oh, well, maybe I didn't. Maybe I wanted to go over your tower here. Skeleton Spear! Oops. And so. Not quite the inspiring music of Castlevania Symphony of Night or Super Castlevania 4, but I mean, come on. It's a Game Boy game. Okay, it's a Game Boy uh, Advance game. Ooh, sweet. Secret passage. What will it get me? A new MP Max. It would have been nice if uh, it had filled the MP I had, but, uh, you know. What is that they say about beggars and choosers? Oh, that's right. I choose to beg. Please give me life. Give me life, give me hope, give me peace on earth. That's where I just came through, right. I remember that. Okay, let's try this again. But Bobo, aren't you like good at platforming games? You would think so, wouldn't you? You'd be wrong, but you would think so. I would like very much, sometime in the near future, to find a safe point. Whee! See you later, bats. You guys gotta fly, I guess. Alright. I've done smarter things in my life than run directly into a bomb. But we're not here to talk about those things today. Today we're here to talk about just my running into a bomb. Alright, more HP max increases. Oh, that one actually did fulfill my AP. I need to learn some magical spells. I have magic points, so clearly I must be able to do magical spells. I wonder if it's like Symphony of the Night and they're done with like Street Fighter style controls. Hadouken! Sure you can! No, nothing like that. Still and all, that's another room explored. Another room down. The rest of this infernal tower to go. I don't know a good way to get over there, actually. So, let's uh, just come along here. Oh, I can't go in here. This is a place I have to approach from the other side, as you can tell, because there's a little slidey thing right there. Smack you roughly on the scruff of the neck, bonehead. Hey, here we go. This is like the kind of thing I was looking for. As a matter of fact, I think let's do save the game. And let's do call this a video, actually. When we come back next time, folks, we will continue to explore this, uh, whatever it is that we have right here. This is Bobo the Vulture, and, uh, this is Let's Play Castlevania Circle of the Moon. And I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.